definitely facing a crisis in Ontario for children with complex needs, mental health uh, needs, complex uh, developmental autism needs, and behavioral trauma issues. And so as a result of, uh, of a number of these children in our community, we don't have the capacity in our community, we don't have the, the uh, placements to support these children and youth in the best way possible. And some families who have been trying to hang on for years, asking the system, we need help with our child. And then their the child get older, they're, they're developing, and some of those behaviors become aggressive and impulsive, and, and uh, they end up assaulting their family members or their parents, and the parents' capacity is absolutely drained, and they say, we can't do this anymore. And so they look to the Children's Aid Society because they think, well, here's an organization that probably has access to the services that we would want it to have. And it's simply, the simple answer is we don't. We don't have a plethora of placements and services available. When children come into care, we become the de facto guardian, the de facto parent. And now as the parent of the child, the guardian, I'm saying as the executive director, I'm demanding the government respond and provide services, supports to the children and youth that we're trying to support in our community. And so this crisis is across the whole province. Every children's aid is facing this. And it's something that is a all of government approach shouldn't be on the shoulders of children's aid societies to navigate and figure this out for the children and youth that we're trying to serve.